Hi everyone. I have a new uh, journal to share. It's a Mother Goose journal that I used um, Graphic 45's Mother Goose collection and a book that I got at the flea market of Mother Goose nursery rhymes dated um, in the 1920s. On the cover I put the um, the main piece of the gra uh, Graphic 45 collection uh, pieced it with another piece of paper from the collection and I sewed it at the top and at the bottom and I added these three buttons. This uh, is a three ring planner that measures nine by seven and a half and throughout the book I did some stamping fussy cutting and sewing. Let's do a quick flip through. On the inside cover there's three slots and I have added cut aparts from the paper collection. I fussy cut Mother Goose and added her to the front of the bottom flat uh, pocket and tucked an envelope in there with a journaling card that says this book belongs to. And the the um, first page is a piece from the Mother or uh, Geographic 45 Mother Goose collection, and inside there are cut aparts that I've used to make pockets and um, journaling card. And then on the side pockets, I sewed one of the nursery rhymes from the Mother Goose book. Let's see here. And here is one of the pages from the book. You can see how yellow the paper is. And uh, throughout the book I used uh, EK Success Edge Punch, which is a uh, a, B, C, one, two, three. And I also uh, decoupaged some line paper that I distressed with Tim Holtz uh, Gathered Twigs Distress Ink. And I did that throughout the book as well. Um, Here is a tuck spot I made with one of the cut aparts and um, and some of the paper from the collection. And then throughout the book I printed from the book from the nursery rhyme book on some coffee stained uh, tissue paper. There's another uh, lined piece that I added to that page. Here's a belly band and in the first pocket of it there's a little boy blue music a card from the Graphic 45 paper collection and underneath that is a piece of coffee, stein pa coffee stained paper that I just folded up and you can journal on it. Some more cut aparts from the collection and another pocket with a sewed on nursery rhyme from the book. And then here's another page from the book. And a pocket I made with one of the nursery rhymes and then a little tag or card stuck in the pocket.
another belly band with an envelope with a journaling card inside and another folded piece of coffee stained paper to journal on and then here's a tuck spot that I made with the banners uh, another decoupage lined paper piece uh, tissue paper printed on and here I made a little pocket added a button and stuck a little tag inside to journal on and then another page with cut aparts and a sewed on nursery rhyme <coughs> excuse me then on this page I made a pocket added a nursery rhyme and then I added an envelope um, I put a little corner pocket on there with a button and this is another piece from the music section of the graphic 45 paper inside there's a tag to journal on and I use that little piece to hold that flap down and another page from the nursery rhyme book another goose book and then another lined piece of paper added to that page a uh, little collage I made at the top mother goose with a torn uh, paper a uh, page book page with some cheesecloth and another banner tuck spot tracing paper and here I made two tags this one has Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and I used a star stencil with some modeling paste and um, some magicals from Lindy Stamp Gang to make the stars and and then on the bottom tag there is a Little Miss Muffet with some cheesecloth and a Tim Holtz um, card and then a little spider and then another page of cut aparts with a sewed on nursery rhyme a page from the mother goose book and another um, collage with a little bitty envelope and a little card inside to journal on which is a tuck spot and then another decoupaged lined paper and another and then tracing paper and then two more tags this one has baby bunting on it with a little collage I put on there same thing down here with uh, little Jack Horner and then uh, another pages with the uh, cut aparts and a uh, sewn on nursery rhyme on the pocket another page from the mother goose book and then this uh, page I made two pockets and I cut that with a, an edge die and one of them has the mother goose rhyme on it and this is a cut apart from the collection which you can journal on and the same thing down here another tissue paper tracing paper and then on this page I have um, paper clipped 
a little booklet I made that has four pages inside. And that's just fastened with a paper clip. And then here's another uh, lined paper that I added. And then here's a tuck spot up here that I made. And then in this corner pocket, I used Tim Holtz octagon uh, cutter and pieced those together like a quilt. And then, of course, that matches the shape of the little booklet. And then here's a little file folder that um, if you lift up this you can journal on this and it's a little pocket. I sewed all three sides together to make a pocket for one of the cut aparts. And then there's another lined paper I added and a little collage I made at the bottom. Humpty Dumpty paper. Some more cut aparts and a Humpty Dumpty poem sewed on to the pocket. And then another page from the Mother Goose book. And another pocket with um, nursery rhyme and uh, music section from the cut aparts of Graphic 45's paper Jack and Jill. And then another tissue paper. And here's another pocket with another little file folder pocket. And uh, same thing with the other one. A little pocket here and you can write on this. And then a little collage I made up here with the little tiny envelope and that has a card in that you can journal on. And some more lined paper added to the page. And then on the back of the cover, inside of the back cover, I have a moon and stars that I cut from Tim Holtz die. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, journaling card, a little tiny envelope with a card in to journal on. And I've added a tall gel pen. It has a little nib on the on the point that you have to pull off to write. And here is a big pocket here and another big pocket here. And then in the front of the book there is also a big pocket here where you can store all kinds of memorabilia and keepsakes. So this is my Mother Goose album or journal. Whoops, got to add this back in. And uh, this will be listed in uh, Junk Journal Junkies Boutique for sale. And I will put a link down below to that for anybody that might be interested. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.